Hi, I'm Bob Balch with the That's Jesus channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what it means to repent. <laughs> Before we get into that, uh, go ahead and if you like these types of videos, give me a thumbs up, uh, ring the bell so you'll be notified of the next time a video comes out. Subscribe to the channel. That would be fantastic. fantastic. And um, share this video with your friends. That would be great too. I remember when I was growing up, um, watching a televangelist when, when I was watching TV late at night, and he's on stage and he's screaming, yes, uh, I said, uh, repent uh, if you want to be saved. And uh, he went on to loudly explain that repenting was a religious word that meant you were sorry, but it also meant that you were going to stop sinning and then he got technical and elaborated that in Christianity, repent means to turn from. So each individual needed to turn from his guilt and turn from his sinning and turn to joy and turn to righteousness. Whew. He was wrong. That's not what repent means. Repent does mean turn from in many cases. However, when it was used in the first century, repent was often used in the context of opposing sides, like in a war or in a battle or a military conflict. Josephus used the word repent several times, and many times that he used it, it, it makes it easier uh, because he used it for us to understand what it meant back in the New Testament times. Repent means to have a change of allegiance and to switch to the other team. It is basically a plea to surrender to the opponent in the battle. It is a war cry to take up arms and fight against the side that you were just on. So in the New Testament, the word repent is almost always, listen to this, almost always in the plural syntax. It's basically saying the whole bunch of y'all need to switch sides in the conflict. Let's look at the most often quoted repent passage in the Bible. It's, it's Acts 2.38. It says, Repent and be baptized, each one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Here's what that means in 21st century nuance. Change sides, all of y'all, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. That is Peter talking to a huge crowd, and basically he says, this entire group needs to change allegiance in the war. He didn't say that each of them needed to switch sides. He said the whole group needed to switch together. Now, obviously, Peter was demanding that they stop being on the side that they are on now, fighting against Jesus and switch to the opposite side, the one that fights for Jesus. What's really cool is the next part. After addressing them as a group, he then switches away from the plural and says that each and every individual must be baptized. Now that's really interesting. All of y'all need to repent. All of y'all need to change sides. But each one of you needs to be baptized. Now that is interesting. We may be part of a group of people that decides to be on the side of God. We may have been in a youth camp when we were young. All y'all need to follow God. All y'all need to stop sinning. All y'all need to choose the Lord. But the act that inaugurates that decision is done as an individual. So, when you decided to switch sides and recognize Jesus as your commander-in-chief, you may have done so as part of a group. Maybe it was a family decision. Maybe it was a, a pact with friends. Maybe it was a mission trip, a church class, vacation Bible school. 
My question is this, did you as an individual demonstrate the proof of your decision through baptism? If not, I believe you should think about it. It's kind of like deciding to be a soldier, but then never putting on the uniform. And that would be really sad. I hope this video was interesting to you. And if you think that uh, I'm wrong, go on ahead and leave a comment. I would appreciate it. Uh, in the meantime, though, go on ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos like this where you can be bring the bell. You can be notified the next time I put out a video and you can disagree with that one. Or if you do agree, go on ahead and give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. I do appreciate you taking the time to listen to the end. Have a great day. Be blessed.